When he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back hobby maniacs. I'm Ron Bear from spikymitts.com and in this video we're going to unbox and build the latest limited edition variant miniature from Creature Caster that they sent over to us uh, to help promote their whole limited edition variant line of uh, miniatures. So let's uh, let's jump into it. So right now over on their website uh, creaturecaster.com and you can you know, shop on whatever you know co uh, country you might be from they have a US shop Canada Euro all that um, they have uh, the new pre-order up for the Absolute Malice. Now, what these miniatures are generally is like a, or a retake, like a variant of their one of their existing miniatures out there that they've kind of already produced, and, and they do them in a certain number of miniatures. Um, you know, like this one I think is 130, and you might remember this guy, the Plague Angel limited edition one they did around the holidays. I never got this one. This one was pretty cool. I like this one, um, but I, I, I didn't get this. And the Plague Angel is pretty dope too, uh, but that one's gone. So, you know, they put these out from time to time. Um, and, you know, it's been about three months since the last one. And now we've got this guy here, the Absolute Malice, which is, I guess, a, a little bit different of a take on the Lord of Malice miniature, which is also one of my favorites from them. Um, I don't, man, I don't have many not favorites from them, to be quite honest. Um, I love their dragons as well. Those things are ginormous and, and really awesome. So I think there's like 30 or 40 of these left from what they're saying. They are going to start shipping them out. It looks look like uh, second week of May. So we're actually coming up on that as I'm recording this video. I wanted to get this out a little bit sooner for you all, but uh, circumstances beyond my control uh, kind of... Uh, force my hand there so we're gonna try to get this out with a little bit of time left so you can definitely uh, order one here so then it just kind of run down um, you know the the base size and everything uh, the you know, the resin pure uh, you know unfilled resin and actually now uh, if you had problems putting their miniatures together in the past they have instructions on their site as well as like the parts descriptions too so you can jump in here and kind of see it they haven't posted this one yet but I, I actually know it exists because I <laughs> I have a link to it to it but it is not live um, so that being said I'm sure it will be live here once they start uh, shipping them out and you can see the other ones there that they put out earlier in the year or I guess the end of last year and this one here that hopefully we'll do a video on uh, very very shortly as well uh, if you haven't ever gotten a uh, miniature or a kit from Creature Caster, this is basically how they come. Um, this box is uh, larger than most, to be quite honest, because, you know, this, this kit is uh, rather large. Um, sometimes they have different colored uh, bubble envelopes in here. This one's w white or clear see-through, I guess. Um, and then sometimes they'll have different components and things laid out. But generally, this is how you're going to get uh, the miniatures from them. And any bases or anything will definitely be underneath. So once you get all your parts laid out and in inventory and everything, it has a number here. So you can just go onto the web page and or the product listing page and kind of see the numbers and make sure you got everything there. And, you know, check that it's uh, that it's all in the bag and everything. I pulled out this little sword here because what I wanted to show you is you probably noticed already in this picture or this uh, video here that they have these things on here called shims. Um, and what it is, it just fills in the detail around um, the like parts that are a little bit finer than what you normally are used to working with. Um, they're still very structurally sound as you can see, but what this does is it allows the resin to fill in these areas here and you know that you got a really good fill and a good quality miniature because of this. Now, the drawback to this is the fact that you're gonna have to do more work in, in theory, to clean this up. So all you gotta do is just take a little bit of poster tack or blue tack or whatever you got, get in here with an X-Acto blade or clippers, and what that's gonna do is give it strength so when you clip into this, you don't just shatter uh, the little pinion here or any of those other areas like the talons and, and stuff over here. Now this area, you could probably just get in there and cut down because it's so huge, but stuff like this you wanna be definitely be careful with, and the blue tack's gonna allow you to do that. And you can tell that the detail on this is just incredible. Uh, Creature Caster has a unique knack for, um, you know, designing things that aren't too busy and gives you the ability to either, you know, lean on those brush paint techniques or the speed paint techniques or the air painting techniques, whatever, or airbrush painting, whatever you want to use or glazes and things like that. You'll be able to do all of those techniques on this stuff here. Let's get this in the 
of focus and you can kind of see more like just how crazy detailed this base is here with all the skulls and this could be flame this could be aether this could be glowy stuff i don't know you know it's really up to you and that's what's so cool about these miniatures they do now this piece I noticed on the sword, and I just wanted to show you this so you're not like, holy crap, what do I do here? Uh, so it's kind of the same, here, let's get that in focus. This is kind of the same type deal, except for it has some sprue gates here. So you definitely want to use your blue tack to get in there and clip those off and trim all that area out and leave all that really super dope flame detail uh, for the sword because that is just uh, really neat and that's going to add a lot, um, a huge level of dynamic uh, posing to this miniature once you get it together. So. That being said, let's take a look at a assembled version of this guy and how he scales up to some other stuff out there. And then here is the miniature all assembled. Now, I can't quite take credit for this myself, and there's like the base here on the bottom, so you can uh, attach this last, depending on what you're trying to do specifically. Um, but this miniature was actually the one on display at Adepticon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a preview and believe it or not it went back uh, to Creature Caster and then they sent it down to me so you will notice that you know it was put together pretty quick in a hotel room <laughs> with not a lot of light and not a lot of supplies at Adepticon so there is some gapping and stuff here um, but because this miniature is so limited uh, they wanted to you know give me one that wasn't uh, that wasn't going to go out of circulation so to speak so we got this one here and it looks great and there's a lot of detail and like i was saying you know they're they're incredible at making it so you know you can paint it with any sort of technique there and it's not quite too busy um but it's just busy enough to get in there and, and, and paint on stuff and then the front here is pretty dynamic now this is a big miniature and i don't have a, a bellacore because i feel like that would be a great comparison um but i do have a angron here which i believe they are all on the same uh, size base so let me grab this bad boy right here and kind of give you an idea of exactly how big this is so it's gonna be about the size of Bellacore uh, give or take you know on his little throne and standing up with his wingspan and everything but you could definitely use it for a lot of things in Warhammer 40k or just as a really dope uh, painting project in general I suppose um, depending on what you're looking to do there and then here's how he stacks up to a typical space marine so <laughs> uh, just to kind of give you an idea there but uh, yeah this miniature is pretty dope and like I said there isn't too many of these left so if you're into you know getting the limited edition uh, alternative uh, variant sculpts of the creature caster minis well this might just uh, tickle your hobby pickle so to speak and of course, you can get your very own over at CreatureCaster.com on all the different uh, store websites for Canada, U.S., and uh, Europe as well. But like I said, there isn't too many left, so uh, <laughs> not to be a huge uh, you know, thing of FOMO and, and get people all motivated through that, but it is something that isn't going to come back. So it will, in theory, have inherent value, and that's always cool in the uh, collectible miniature space. So check it out over at CreatureCaster.com today. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybit.